Hi, I'm Judith Monroe. This is my studio, and I'm going to show you my new favorite art making tool. So here's the problem. I use lots of matte gel medium, this stuff. It's like thick and pasty, and I use it to coat photographs so that I can transfer them. And I have always used um, either these funky sponge brushes uh, like this or a regular paintbrush, and neither works very terribly well. Um, so this is now super crusty, um, hard. It, uh, this one isn't as bad. They work all right for spreading things, but they absorb a lot of the matte gel medium. They're super hard to clean. I can't tell you how many of these silly things I have thrown away. And, and I don't like adding to landfills that way. And so I was at um, a, a Bible journaling class, actually. Um, and somebody had the most amazing thing. And um, it was one of these little guys. This is um, a Barvati. Um, I think they called it... Um, a shape shaper it's a silicone shaper is what they called it so this is uh, essentially a paintbrush made of silicone and um, oh my gosh this is amazing so um, I can put really thin layers of things down um, I'm just going to randomly not watercolor there's some acrylic. See if I can get this out of here. Well, that's not going to happen. Random acrylic. Cheap little um, stuff. Somebody gave me this. I don't know. This is like a funky Christmas present eons ago. But um, check this out. I can make, and I just did it with paint because if it were something clear, you wouldn't be able to see. I can make super thin, smooth, um, I can just lay that on there really easily. And look at how well I can like really easily clean up this brush too. I'm not getting, losing anything in here. Like the foam things soak up whatever it is you're spreading on. This I can just like really spread stuff around. It is so cool. Um, I'm going to show you how I can coat a photograph. First I have to clean this off here. But you can see I literally can clean it off by wiping on paper. I can also clean it off by, you know, using a rag. But check that out. I just, this is, <laughs> this is amazing. I love that. No Barvati or whoever it is is not paying me. Um, this is literally me just going, oh my gosh, I found something fabulous. I want you to see it. So um, this is a photograph that um, I have printed out. This is how I make my transfers. This is my favorite matte gel me medium. Um, Liquitex is the only one that makes really truly matte medium so that means um, when it's dry it has a truly matte surface which matters to me because I um, am using mixed media and usually the next thing that I'm putting on photographs after I transfer them is uh, colored pencils and I have just not found any other medium that creates the same um, true matte surface so that it takes pencils. Everything else is, is got a little gloss to it and doesn't have enough tooth. So you can see as I'm putting this on here, I can get it on here fairly thin. 
um, and fairly consistent. And um, again, the cleanup is so easy. I can just wipe it all off on the edge here. I'm not losing any of this. So this is my small travel size container of matte gel medium. I buy this stuff by the gallon, guys. Um, so if I could use less of it because I'm not wasting it, that's awesome. So um, I'm trying to make sure that I do get it. I'm still working on, you know, the control and I'm not opposed to some texture and I want to be careful not to get straight like hard lines in it but this is so cool so cool I'm loving that it's just it goes on so easy and I can clean this so easy so um, I'm going to use it I'm just going to keep showing you how cool it is I'm going to put a little of this on here I'm going to just do a little art journaling while I'm showing you this cool thing because, you know. And then I'll, I'll uh, put another, I'll put a photo down too. I'll transfer a photo because this is just cool for all of it. So I'm just getting to use so much less of this stuff. Um, and I'll show you one of my favorite things about it too, because it's this rigid um, silicone surface. It also helps me like push out any like bubbles. Um, I can, you know, really get that smooth. It there's a pressure here that I can apply that I can't do with a foam brush. Um, but I can really just smooth all the bubbles, air bubbles, out of this. Um, and I do this kind of stuff a lot. I collage a lot of things. I um, do my photo transfers. And so being able to use this in, um, you know, just kind of, it, it's, it's totally changing uh, how I'm going to work. I mean, just making things faster and easier. Um, not that I'm always about speed, but you know, sometimes I'm on a deadline. Like, kind of I am right now. I should be finishing up a commission. I'll get to it this evening, I promise. Um, <laughs> and I can't show it to you because it's a surprise gift and that wouldn't be cool to uh, post a video about somebody's surprise and yeah later maybe um, so it's just so cool and fast I'm just doing this so much faster than um, I would have so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna go soak the paper off of the back of this so this has been coated already with the same matte gel medium um, and this is a photograph and I'm gonna transfer it and I'll show you what that looks like with this too okay so uh, soaked the paper off of it. This is what it looks like now. Um, this is how I do photo transfers. If, uh, if you want to see the full process, um, I do have videos that show that. But again, um, I can just, I love this. How I can um, spread this on thinly and easily. I am not going to be throwing away foam brushes or, you know, destroying other brushes. Of course, I usually get cheap brushes because I'm not nice to my brushes. My mother would not be happy with me. Uh, <laughs> but, so here we go. Let's see. Do I like that like that? How do I like this? So focused on uh, just playing with the tools, not really thinking about what I'm doing compositionally. I mean, it's, you know, art journal, whatever. Um, don't have to think real hard about it. But again, I am just like getting those little air bubbles. 
cleaning that up, getting those little air bubbles out so easy. And uh, putting so much of the matte gel medium back. I'm just psyched. This is cool. And I'm using the little one because I'm doing little stuff. But I've been using this guy and pretty snazzy, fabulous. Um, so again, Barvati um, is the the maker. Um, and I got these on Amazon. I don't remember how much. I don't know. Mm. I really don't know. Maybe twenty or thirty dollars for the two of them. Maybe forty. I don't remember. I know that's bad, but um, they're totally worth it. Yes, I could buy a whole bunch of foam brushes for this, but it's not just about um, not just about money. I mean, there's long term. I'm sure long term, this will be better money wise. But then just, you know, look at how easy that cleans. Um, that's oh, so nice. And then um, I was at uh, shopping for art supplies at Blick. I found this. This is that same thing. It's another, um, this is what called the color shaper is what this says on it. And um, I haven't played with it a whole lot either. Um, but it's, I just wanted to see what it would do. It has such a tiny little, um, point. It's kind of cool. So I don't know what's going to happen with this. This is, you know, I just got it to see what it would do. Cause I so love these things. It's amazing. I was like, this has got to be fun, right? We'll see what happens. I, it's kind of cool for this. I'm, I haven't, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I can obviously make tiny little detail stuff. And it has the same, you know, I can wipe it clean so easy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so thrilled about that. Just the, the cleaning aspect alone is like, check it out. It's so easy to clean. Um... You're not supposed to let them sit and soak in water or um, any kind of solvent, but you don't need to. I mean, it's just like, boom. I'm also very excited to try applying varnish with this. I haven't done that yet because that's the other thing that just, um, oh my gosh, I, I sacrifice brushes to varnish because it's so hard to clean out and so much of it gets soaked into the brush so I'm excited um, I don't varnish in my art journal of course well I don't know of course but I don't varnish in my art journal I varnish my finished pieces and um, I feel like that's another place where half of the you know varnish gets stuck in the brush and then it's super hard to clean out and I'm always struggling you know, for a good varnish brush. So I'm excited um, to see how this works. Um, but anyway, that's that's my big exciting thing. You know, silicone color shapers. That's what this one said. Silicone shaper. It's a silicone paintbrush. Barvati. You can get it all kinds of places. This one was at Blick. These were on Amazon. Barvati.com. They should totally be paying me for this. That's all I have to say. So now you know what my favorite new art making tool is. These fabulous little silicone brushes. Um, thanks so much for watching. Um, be sure to um, subscribe. That would help me a whole bunch. Like and comment. Thanks.